CS Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. More details are emerging about this man. This one was spotted yesterday, smashing a car window of a vehicle belonging to the media team that was part of Raila Odinga's motorcade yesterday. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this story in which I'll explain why I strongly believe Raila Odinga is winning the war on the ground against William Ruto, but he is equally exposing himself badly to the government wounds. Before digging deep in the, into that, let's have a look at a post by Azimio TV. Azimio alert, main culprit, Corporal Silas Kemboi, Police Force Number 88011, Station, Kamkuni Police Station, attached to Mr. Bungei, the Regional Police Commander Nairobi. The other police officer, is police force number 226944 PC Isaac Dirangu attached at RPC Nairobi. There are two other police officers working with the above two. Yes. So you are seeing clearly that this man is attached to Nairobi Regional Police Commander. Bungay himself, and there are about four police officers who have been given similar roles to play. So you are seeing clearly that the kind of police brutality we are witnessing is being sanctioned by top police bosses in the police force, and that only confirms Ruto's government is fully behind these brutal police officers we are seeing. Yes, the government is behind them. Yes. What does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video like let's dig deep yes let me start by saying this politics is a dirty game it's not meant for the faint-hearted before you venture in politics you must factor all these ladies and gentlemen Looking at what is happening currently in Kenya, it's a fact Raila Odinga is winning the ground war against William Ruto. In fact, from what we have been seeing in the about three demonstrations that have so far been held, Raila is clearly winning the war on the ground against William Samoy Ruto. And for Raila Odinga to continue winning this war, then he should actually push it to the wire. And I'm saying that because previously, in those other previous years, Raila Odinga has always been really pushing, and then he reaches a point, and then he retreats a bit. And that has been giving advantage to his political rivals who have actually been snatching his victory for him, from him. In this case, what is currently happening in Kenya, I strongly believe that the best political decision for El Udinga is to push it to the wire. If he does that, he will be winning massively against William Samoy Ruto. But as he does that, that, that is exposing Ray Odinga very badly to the government wounds. And I'm saying that because if a goon like this can even have that opportunity 
hmm, of smashing a car window of the press team accompanying Ray Odinga, then just that confirms that Ray Odinga is exposing himself very badly to these government wounds. And I'm saying government wounds because you are seeing clearly that this corporal, this officer, is attached to Bungay himself. And he was also the one spotted on the first day last week in the CBD harassing demonstrators. So you are seeing that the government is fully behind these wounds. I strongly believe that Taylor Dingo should invest more in intelligence. From what we have seen so far, Raila spies are doing a wonderful job. And that's why Raila Odinga has been able to get prior information. Because last week, Raila exposed some um, data schemes that were being planned by this government. And partially, what Raila Odinga predicted came to pass. Only that the expose by Raila Odinga neutralized them and they could not really achieve what they initially intended to achieve. But what trial exposed last week came to pass. So I personally believe Raila's team, intelligence team, are doing a good job. But we should double that effort for goods like these ones not to come close to Raila Odinga. And one way Raila's team can do that is by actually using money. Let Raila's team actually even reach out to the likes of Bungay. Hmm? Because we all know that in Kenya, it's all about money. In Kenya, even your brother can be paid to kill you. And that's why we are seeing even in Luanyanza, some elected leaders have been bought hmm, to actually plan against the same same people who did elect them. And I'm saying that because there was also some confirmed information that some of the rebels we saw at State House were being used to plan some chaos in Nyanza. In that they were booking goods in hotels, and then on the D day, all the demonstrations, the goods would cause chaos. So you are seeing that even your brother can actually be bought or be used to actually destroy you. So Rayo Dinga should invest more in the security. Let, if possible, let him even work behind the scenes with some of these police officers. Because I strongly believe as much as Bungay is doing what the government is telling him, I don't think he benefits much. It's just he may be being instructed but I don't think he benefits much from the government. Let us a new team actually beat the government in that game. And also in Nyanza or in their strongholds, as a new brigade should also make sure the rebels are not given that opportunity to actually flourish. Let them be killed politically before they grow tentacles. And ODM, Raila and his team, the Azimio, should move with speed in making sure the rebels are killed politically in good time. That will hinder William Ruto from also making some penetrations in Raila Odinga's strongholds. I believe that's what Raila Odinga and the Azimio Brigade should do. But from what we are currently witnessing, Raila is clearly winning the ground war against William Ruto. He has succeeded in portraying William Ruto as the aggressor. Eh, somebody who's using the instruments of power to intimidate Kenyans, to intimidate the hustlers. And that's the same trick William Ruto did use on Uhuru Kenyatta. Ruto projected himself as a victim. And he portrayed Uru Kenyatta as the bigger brother was using instruments of power to intimidate 
the powerless. William Ruto is making the same same blunder Uhuru Kenyatta might have made. The ground is first tilting towards Azimio Brigade. And that was also actually confirmed today by Kabando Wakabando. Though that, that's going to be an, our analysis in our next video. Let me just show you some remarks made by Kabando Wakabando today. President Ruto should indulge stately. Raila isn't going to blink and the hungry, jobless, marginalized, youthful masses will keep joining him. Former Mukureni MP Kabando Wakabando. It's a fact Raila is winning on the ground against William Ruto. And the more William Ruto uses force to silent critics, the ground is sympathizing more with Raila Odinga and with Azimio. What Raila Odinga should now invest more on is on how to penetrate, mm, how to have more spies within the police force and also within even the Kenya defense forces. Let me stop it here, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you are not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. If you want to support us here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. We are still working on that analysis on Kabando Wakabando's remarks. Let's meet in that video.